you want to go in with your mission statement read every single time before you watch a video. So that way you're reminding yourself, okay, I can talk about a lot of things and you will be able to filter out the things where I'm talking about other people because I got to get it off my chest and reminding everyone that this is really where you're supposed to be finding it from, not watered down versions of it. But then you'll go into harvesting and pulling out the things that the meat you'll get to what it is the point everybody's saying get to the point the point is you're getting the stuff that makes you better as a trader because i've already taught you how to trade i've taught everybody how to do that but how do you become a consistently profitable trader well <clears throat> excuse me you get that by listening to someone that's endured lots of losing and the things that i did to stem that and keep it at bay and also in in many ways understand the pitfalls that lead to that and that stuff when you're young as a, a developing student and this is for females too not just the males i'm not beating up on you guys only this culture that we have today <clears throat> it is give it to me right now and if you can't give it to me right now i'm unsubscribing good unsubscribe because the way I teach, I do it in such a way where I'm filtering people out and that pisses people off. And I want them to lose their mind initially, because if you're going to lose your mind about me and how I teach, because I know how this is learned. I know how it's taught properly, but I also know there's going to be problem personalities that are going to be problem traders and the problem traders are going to be the ones that complain and say, oh, you're a fraud. Oh, your shit doesn't work. Oh, you never do this and oh, you never do that. But 2022, I came out with all the receipts and now people all around the world are doing it too. So there's no way, absolutely fucking no way anybody can stand anywhere and I'm ready for it. I'll trade in fucking court. Okay, I will do it. I will bring my fucking shit and I will show everybody. Everybody in there will be fucking watching my YouTube channel. The judge will be fucking subscribed to fucking YouTube. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. But there are people that are not mentally prepared to suffer in their own hands. And that's what you're going to do as a trader. And nobody says it like that, but that's exactly what it is. You put yourself, I put myself, we all put ourselves in situations where it absolutely is painful and loss will, will be the result. There is not ever been a trader that has ever gone out there and done it 100%. I lose. I lose. Okay. I get it wrong sometimes. Okay. Bottom line is, is it doesn't kill me to the point where I'm going to give up or toss out the concept. You know, that model, that 2022 model, it can look like it's really in the chart and your analysis line up like, Hey man, I'm going to do this trade. And you put the trade on, whether it's paper demo or live. And it will fail sometimes. It didn't fail. You did. When I do it wrong, I do it wrong. And I record it that way in my journal. You need to record it in your journal that way too. If you do that, number one, it teaches and fortifies personal responsibility. And when you're basically inputting that in your journal, every single time you do it, you're going to have also increments where you'll have it done right. And that, that, that's the key. That's, the, that's the, the superpower juice, if you want to call it, that keeps you going. Because I could tell you anything in these rants and these discussions that you might find encouraging. You might find that, um, that little nudge that you need to keep going. No problem. But even me talking to you and encouraging you won't take away every bit of it. It just distracts you from what you were thinking and feeling. And when you stop listening to these things, you'll remember that you did major damage to yourself. You overtraded. You did more trades than you should have. You listened to somebody else on social media that influenced you and you wrecked your ass. That That's painful. It sucks. And this is the reason why I say don't go and try to keep up a equity curve on social media. Equity curves on social media is toxic. You're trying to keep up with everybody else and 99% of these fuckers are out here are fake. They're pretend. They can't, they can't, they're running reports 
making $100,000 in hypothetical results, but they ain't fucking doing it. 